Good morning. We're going to be uh, studying Romans this morning for our devotional and we're in Romans 4 and just to give a bit of context Paul is talking to the Romans about faith being justified through faith and it's our faith that is credited to us as righteousness and I'm going to dive in verse 17 and read uh, to about verse 24 I'm reading from the New Living Translation. That is what the scriptures mean when God told him, him being Abraham, I have made you the father of many nations. This happened because Abraham believed in the God who brings the dead back to life and who creates new things out of nothing. Even when there was no reason for hope, Abraham kept hoping, believing that he would become the father of many nations. For God had said to him, that's how many descendants you will have. And Abraham's faith did not weaken, even though at about a hundred years of age, he figured his body was as good as dead and so was wet Sarah's womb. Abraham never wavered in believing God's promise. In fact, his faith grew stronger and in this he brought glory to God. He was fully convinced that God is able to do whatever he promises. So I'd like to draw a couple of um, things out of this passage of scripture today um, to focus on. The first being from verse 17 where it says, God brings the dead back to life and creates new things out of nothing. The NIV actually says, um, the God who gives life to the dead and calls things that are not as though they were. So I'm aware this is Easter Saturday, I'm not sure when you'll hear this, but this is Easter Saturday and of course Good Friday we think about Jesus' death and I was thinking about the disciples and how they must have felt on Easter Saturday, uh, the devastation they must have felt, the feelings that must have been going through them. Their beloved Lord Jesus had been killed and then there was this pause. There was this pause before they saw the fulfillment of the promise that he had spoken to them. And I think for many of us, we can find ourselves in a pause where we know God has promised us something, either personally, uh, uh, through a word, or through scripture. But we have this pause where everything around us seems to contradict what God has spoken, everything. And of course, the doubts come, just like the enemy came to Eve and, and Adam and said, did God really say? He questioned what God has said to them. And this is what the enemy does in, in the time, in this pause between what God speaks and the fulfillment of what he speaks, particularly when it seems like something is so impossible. Remember, Abraham felt like his body was as good as dead. But this verse says, this verse describes uh, God is the God who brings the dead back to life and who creates new things out of nothing. So regardless of what your circumstances look like, God is able to do the impossible. So the passage goes on to say that he never wavered in believing God's promise. In fact, he was fully convinced. And the NIV says he was fully persuaded. He was fully persuaded that God was able to do what he promised. Now, I just want to encourage us this morning regardless of our circumstances, to hold fast to the faith that we have. Hold fast because God is good, he's a good father and he is faithful even when we are faithless. He is able to change any circumstance in your life. And I just want to encourage you this morning, beloved, to speak life over your circumstances, not to partner with lies. The Bible tells us that the power of life and death is in the tongue. It's so important what we speak. So make sure that what you speak is in line with scripture. I'm not talking about positive speak and blah de blah de blah, which is actually bad for us to do because if we don't believe it, it's like telling us ourselves a lie anyway. We can't talk ourselves into something. But I'm talking about aligning yourself with scripture, aligning yourself with the Holy Spirit, because the same spirit who raised Jesus from the dead is working in us today. So whatever in your life looks dead and is absolutely not happening but God has given you a promise or you find a promise in scripture that speaks to that be fully persuaded people because Sunday's coming Sunday's coming the day of raising from the dead is coming and this is for you and your life too the end of that passage says it's not just for Abraham it's not been recorded just for Abraham but it's for us as well so that we can be encouraged so this Easter Saturday I pray that you be blessed beloved church, and that you will know the goodness of your Father, that you will be fully persuaded that he is for you and that he is working everything out for you according to his will. 
I hope you will stay well and be blessed.